Aries, welcome back to the channel. It's me, OU, with another tarot card message for you. On this good Sunday, we got, what, half the people in church and mosque? If that's still such a thing, do we still partake in uh, storefront churches? <laughs> Come in and like and, sub and subscribe. Add value to the channel so that we continue to grow. Tap in. Let's see what the energies are, man. I haven't done tarot in a while. I just finished up the Astro Lecture. So go ahead and take part in the Astro Lecture series, episodes one through nine, wherever you have major aspects in your birth chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. Um, yeah. Let's see what spirit has in store for you today, Aries. Quick message. We're using the Hoodoo Tarot deck, of course. By Tiana McQuiller. Black woman, right? <laughs> Let's see. Your grounded message here is Mother of Knives. We have Libra energy. Not too bad. So air sign energy. This could be uh, someone making a judgment call. This could be someone trying to balance out a situation. Probably a talker. This could be a second opinion. Possibly a teacher. Maybe a lawyer as well. This could be someone writing a book. Mm, I'm getting scripting. We got the mosquitoes, the early morning mosquitoes. They aren't as hazardous as the evening mosquitoes. <laughs> Let's see. This is some sort of a professional here. We have the six of sticks. Yeah. This is taking center stage. This is some sort of a standing ovation. This is um, an adventure or some sort of a pilgrimage. Mm-hmm. Why am I getting stacked odds? Now is it odds being stacked against you or is it being or is it or is it you stacking odds up against someone else? That's a weird channel message to get here from the six of wands. So again, this could be some sort of a, a, a pilgrimage. I'm not sure if this is a refugee, but this is typically seen as 15 minutes of fame. This is p people giving you a, an applause. We have Father Sims here, the Sagittarius. Yeah, so some sort of a journey. You're learning something here. Very unique. This could be internet activity, the World Wide Web. Maybe someone is starting a business. Libra does symbolize business, relationships, and partnerships. This could be a website as well. <coughs> someone could be joining some sort of a um, online group, or this could be some sort of a website. Lord. I've been seeing cougars all morning. Here goes another one with these short-ass coochie shorts on. My gosh. I guess that may be who this is. <laughs> you can go anywhere in the world, but you'd rather walk right in front of me like this is some damn movie exhibit. <sighs> You're not that price, that much of a price this work of art. This isn't a freaking, uh, what do you call them? Art gallery museum. We have five of sticks, paparazzi, exactly. So this is how these people want people to view them. We have ancestors, Scorpio, Major Arcana. So this is death. Death is coming towards you. Now, with this being the Hulu Tarot deck, we use different divination tools um, during different times. It's almost like um, you never know. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Like you can you can spend your whole life running, but you never know when you're going to trip over a stone or a stick. Weird message that I'm getting from Ancestor Scorpio, but that's basically what I'm getting. Um, there's no coincidence that I'm using the Hoodoo Tarot deck today to pull messages. So your ancestors are trying to speak to you here. We have both father of sins, which could have been the doctor in this situation and the child. Queen of Swords trying to make a decision. This would be Wave versus Row, but I think they've already came to a decision with that. This is how this, <laughs> this is how this making females feel and this is how this making men feel. Spreading a royal oats, having children, although I don't think that there's men actually out there putting kids off on uh, women like women are putting kids off on men and saying, oh, it's yours when it's not his. Again, people want people to care about their feelings, but they don't care about other people's feelings or well-being or life paths. Like you're going to mess up someone's whole career or someone's whole life by lying and saying this is your child. We have eight of sticks, a lot of sexual passions. This is definitely traveling, uh, coming towards you. A lot of people getting in your energy here. Yeah, six of sticks, five of sticks, and eight of sticks. 
So then I, now there's a lot of passion. I did a couple of readings yesterday and it was not a whole lot of passion. We got mother sticks, so two queens here. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a gymnast. I'm getting a professional athlete. This could be some sort of a naturalist, a herbalist. This could also be like a sex model, possibly only fans, a pole dancer or a stripper or something like that. Definitely an adventurer. He has a lot of, he or she has a lot of people trapped in their minds. Yeah, this again would be like a woman, you know, they know what they do when they look in a mirror and they, they step out of their house, no matter if it's seven in the morning to go walking around at the park or whether it's seven at night to go have drinks somewhere. They know what they're wearing. So this is like uh, someone, a connoisseur going to an, an art exhibit or a museum again and just staring blankly at the priceless art while sipping wine and eating cheese. <laughs> yeah, this is supposed to be some sort of a therapy for them. Yep. Like how fishermen go out to the water and stare at the water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm getting a nature here with the mother stick. Someone's in uh, nature. So they could be a... a a nature photographer or a, na a, a, a nature artist. And they like to go out in, in nature and channel. And then, yeah. And then that's when people come towards them. Because people aren't used to that sort of thing. Again, me, a 35-year-old um, or young. Because that's, there's so many cougars out here right now. <laughs> a 35-year young man that's not out gangbanging and stuff like that. That's sitting Indian style in the park. Absorbing sun under the trees. Yeah, that's very sexually attractive to some people. That's new to some people. People have never seen that type of thing before in some, certain situations. You know, there's someone always turning 18 years old every day. So again, it's, something's new to someone. Yeah. Let's see what else we got. We got Mother of Baskets. Damn, three mothers out here. So again, <laughs> symbolizing the three cougars I've already seen this morning with tight ass clothes on. Uh, running around in the park one of them has to do with her but she's not even paying attention to him she keeps looking back at me or turning her head to look in my direction you have a whole man that's walking with you miss thick as hell but you are concerned about where my energy is on my work now i'm very aware of what goes on around me just like women are quick to see a mile a man coming from miles away 50 feet away and they instantly get turned off I shift my energy when I see people coming into my peripheral <laughs> thinking that they're going to absorb energy from me. You want my attention, but you won't reciprocate it, though. Seven of coins. You just want to be seen. So this is time passing. Someone could have been growing something. This could be some sort of, yeah, working on your personal health because your health is your wealth. This could also be some sort of a garden here. Someone could have been planting a, a, a garden in memorial to their, um, oh, we got this dude with this big ass husky wolf dog. Someone could have planted a garden in memorial to the child that they either lost or there was a miscarriage or it could have been some sort of a pregnancy termination, an abortion. Yeah, they're dealing with guilt and iniquity here. But they're going to turn around and continue to have sex and not change their life, right? We have the free man, Major Arcana for Aries, like I said, still going on adventures. And this is why we had to come to the decision that we was making. Women and men can't just go around just having sex, mixing fluids and creating children and then think that they can just have an abortion. That's not how the world works. Even if that was the case, women have no problem carrying around the guilt that comes with that. Even think about a man look, and it being in a situation where he's in the pregnancy scare. It's his first child, but he has to have his first child terminated because a woman wants to be out in the streets or whatever the case may be. She, was, she wasn't ready to have a kid, but she was ready to open her legs. So that's what I have for you here today, uh, Aries. I see a lot of travel. I see a lot of adventures. I see a lot of attraction. You have a lot of women. I'm not sure if you are a woman. But these could be men in uh, feminine energy. I mean, men have to know women in order to attract them. We have ancestors, which will be Scorpio, Father Sims, Sagittarius, and the free man Aries. Under the deck, we have Mother of Knives. Someone's watching something or someone's documenting something. You definitely could possibly be working with a health physician, a nurse, or a doctor. 
probably a therapist or a psychiatrist. Mm -hmm. Or this is multiple females coming towards you here. Someone has a lot of options here. Again, with the Eight of Sticks. A lot of people traveling towards you. Eight of Knives. This could be having so many options that you can't make a decision. I forgot what they call it. Analysis paralysis or something like that. But yeah, five, six, seven. Five of sticks, six of sticks, and seven of coins. I will say that you're, uh, you have some sort of a standard. You're either financially attractive or you have some sort of a discipline or standard about yourself that makes people come towards you. This is why they're attracted to you as well. Again, we have a dude that came out here with his husky dog. He chained him up to a gate and he found a random basketball out here and now he's shooting basketball. That's different from a man out doing yoga at the park at 7, 8 in the morning and then he's pulling tarot cards. Now people are starting to come towards me and ask me, what am I doing, what's that, and can I pull a reading for them? <laughs> but that's what I have for you here today, uh, Aries. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel, 1111. Could have spiritual awakenings or some sort of a union coming towards you. I'm not sure if it's twin flame, could be a soulmate, but definitely a lot of people in your energy at this time. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.